Hello, I'm Roy Taylor, Professor of Medicine and Metabolism here at Newcastle University. Type 2 diabetes has been regarded as lifelong and progressive, needing more and more tablets and eventually insulin. It's a gloomy picture. But back in 2006, my research came together with the results of others as well and it was possible to see type 2 diabetes might actually be a simple condition, potentially able to be sent back to normal by weight loss. It appeared that there was simply too much fat inside the liver and inside the pancreas. So we set about testing that. We carried out the counterpoint study where we took a group of people with very ordinary type 2 diabetes and asked them to lose weight, a lot of weight, 15 kilograms, to see if we could follow the progression of diabetes to normal and find out what was changing. Well, the results on blood sugar were absolutely dramatic and they're shown in this picture. Here we see at the beginning, all the tablets for the diabetes were stopped. But within seven days, the blood sugar shown here had fallen to normal and it remained normal throughout the eight weeks of the study. The red dot is for people without diabetes but with the same age and weight as the diabetic group and you can see how closely to normal the sugar had become. We were able to do detailed tests and show this related to excess fat in the liver and pancreas falling to normal. We then asked the question whether this would be durable and indeed provided people kept their weight steady we showed that type 2 diabetes stayed away. To this point we'd used this dietary approach merely as a tool to be able to understand what was going on in the body but quite clearly there was a possibility of it being used as a treatment. So together with my colleague Professor Mike Lean of Glasgow University, we set up a direct study looking at whether this could be used in primary care, where type 2 diabetes is usually cared for, in order to bring about remission of type 2 diabetes over at least two years. That was the design of the study. We found that of those people who are advised to lose weight, one in three people had completely moved out of diabetes and were off all their tablets at two years. That is quite a remarkable finding. But even more remarkable was the relationship with the weight loss. Let me show you what that was. In this slide, we can see that if people lost only a little bit of weight, five kilograms, the proportion of people who achieved the mission was very low but with more weight loss, up to 15 kilograms or more, the proportion of people achieving remission was about seven in 10. That is quite remarkable. And there is a bottom line. For those people who lost more than 10 kilograms, then two thirds were free of diabetes. Two out of three people moving out of this terrible condition. We can now say quite confidently that type 2 diabetes is a condition of excess liver fat. The fat is passed to the rest of the body, there is too much fat in the pancreas, that causes the genes controlling insulin production to be switched off. But with weight loss, we see all this going into reverse. Liver fat falls, fat being put out from the liver falls, and the fat in the pancreas, and indeed everywhere else, falls. Remarkably, the insulin producing cells will wake up and resume function, provided they haven't been too damaged over the period of type two diabetes. But there is a caveat. If weight regain is allowed, it's perfectly possible to return to too much fat inside the organs and type two diabetes. So we can now be quite certain 
that type 2 diabetes is a simple condition capable of being returned towards normal. This normality can be durable. So for people with type 2 diabetes, provided they haven't had it for too long, there is a way out. Type 2 diabetes is not a life sentence and that has to be good news.